If you've seen the movie 127 Hours, that's similar to the place that we're headed right now. Really narrow slot canyon. So if you're into tight spaces, pooping into bags, and no water, then this trip is for you. We're heading multiple miles down the trail in order to get to the slot canyons. And because there's no water, we're having to carry six liters of water. So each of us have a one gallon jug in our packs that we're carrying right now. And our packs are heavy. My pack's 40 pounds and Steven's packs here is a little bit lighter at 34 pounds. We're just stashing all of our gear behind this tree here. We're doing a loop with two slot canyons and then we're gonna be coming back to where we stash our packs and setting up camp for the night. It's a good thing I had a good poop this morning. That was a pretty, pretty sketchy climb across and then gets a little bit more sketchy there. So we're going to turn back and head down and do tunnel, tunnel slots. Hopefully tunnels a little bit less tight and technical. We're both a little rusty with our rock climbing. So if you are going to come to Zebra Slot Canyon, I think it's really important that you're fit and even have a little bit of rock climbing experience. We're heading back to camp. Both of us have ultralight trekking pole tents, so it's gonna be interesting to see how well we can pitch those in the sand, and really looking forward to the spot that we're gonna be camping, it looks beautiful. So we've set up camp right at the trailhead of the Zebra Slot Canyon and the Tunnel Slot Canyon. I'm gonna be using the Plex Solo from z -Packs on the left there, and then Steven's sleeping in the Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo two super awesome lightweight tents. If you're interested in a comparison of these two tents, go check out Steven's channel, My Life Outdoors. I'll have a link to his channel as well as both these tents in the video description. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna to be having Peak Refuel Homestyle Chicken Rice. I've had this one before. It's really tasty, nice and creamy. I'm gonna be cooking that up with my pink titanium spoon. I won't actually be cooking with a pink titanium spoon. While it is hot, it doesn't actually produce any heat, but I'll be using my Soto Windmaster stove that I've been testing out on this trip. It's been working pretty good. There's definitely some things that I don't like. I know the Soto Windmaster 
aficionados are going to probably give me some hate for that. But it does boil up water really quick, which is awesome. Thanks for coming on this trip with us. Go check out this video right up here for a three day backpacking trip that we did just down the road from here to Coyote Gulch. It was an epic trip with some amazing geology.